LeBron James goes for 49 points, and Miami takes a commanding 3-1 lead in this Eastern Conference semifinal. What have you learned over the years about closeout games? Because it is always so hard to match the desperation of a team that is fighting for its playoff life. Uh, it's very difficult. Um, this is always the hardest game. You understand that the team that's trying to save their lives are coming with a lot of desperation, and you match that and exceed that. I wanted to ask you about the playoffs in general. When you think back to your early playoff days, early conference finals, the finals against the Spurs that you played, what's the difference between LeBron James and what you knew then versus now? Uh, I'm just a smarter, more seasoned uh, basketball player, more veteran. I, I mean, I've been in it so many times that, um, you know, I kind of know what to expect. And uh, for me, at, at a younger age, I was never even killed. You know, I, I, we would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. And, uh, but I think at this point in, in my career, I kind of stay even. And, and understanding, you know, that one game doesn't, shouldn't affect the next game, and vice versa. So um, you kind of just go with the process, and um, you know, you go out and play as hard as you can, live with the results. Do you ever look or see old tape of yourself at that age and think, yeah. oh boy? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. He had a lot to learn, and uh, but the guy here today is still learning as well. So uh, you know, I think you know the best teacher in life is experience, and I've experienced a lot, and I'm able to over overcome those like, experiences that I've had in my younger days in the playoffs. Of course, the thing about being 29 years old and operating in all cylinders now is that you're not the prodigy anymore. You spent the first five or six years of your career identified as the young one. Now you got the Kevin Durant of the world, John Wall coming up. What is it like to feel that difference? To feel that, okay, I'm not the one trying to get the people ahead of me, but there's guys nipping at my heels? Uh, well, I mean, it's definitely different for me um, because I spent so many years in the ad adolescent stage, you know, uh, but. You know, for me, you know, you kind of just go with the process and you understand that there are always going to be guys before you and after you. And, um, you know, for me, and for me, right now in the present, I just take care of what I can, control what I can, and being a part of this franchise, being a part of this team, and being a leader of the team, you try to put us in a position to uh, you know, help us succeed. And, uh, you know, at the same time, understand you see those guys, uh, those younger guys coming for you for sure. And we take a look at LeBron James in the fourth quarter. He had nine. The rest of the team had 14 on three of 12. He was three of four.